Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we have some more rumors, potential leagues to take a look at for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Again, take them with a grain of salt, not confirmed in any way, shape or form, but still fun to take a look at regardless. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, we're going to take a look at some of these supposed leaks posted by Eclipse. Now again, I don't 100% believe this person. They've got a lot of things wrong in the past. You know, they said Pokemon Legends Arceus was going to be a musical album. They said that Gen 9 was going to be based in Italy. They said that, um, the, that there was going to be a regional form, well, a Hisuian form for a baby evolution line in Pokemon Legends Arceus. All these things were wrong. They've got things right in the past as well. But again, just take it with a massive pinch of salt. But anyway, this is the first tweet that they posted about real leaks or something for the Generation 9 games. They said, real leak except it causes a malice in exchange for a new color. Um, so obviously we just have a, a battle here between a Surviper and a Kling Clang, and it's using, um, what is it, is it, oh my god, I, not Gear Grind, it's, um, oh my god, is it Gear Grind? I think it just said Gear Grind actually. Either way, that's the move that it's using, and of course that boosts you like stats and stuff, and they said except it causes a malice in exchange for a new color. So I get, obviously talking about like Shift Gear, not Gear Grind, Shift Gear. Uh, honestly, so many moves now. But um, yeah, obviously talking about the gimmick and, and what it's going to be doing. So we have people replying to it saying, so the same attack but with the other animation color and malice instead of a bonus, and how this attack is even useful and why do they keep it if it's the case? Who would purposely keep an attack to their Pokemon that give themselves a handicap? So that you can have an ability that trades stats slash buffs nerfs with the opposing Pokemon it touched, not even knowing, just trying to grasp for some logic. Then we have some stuff about apples here, and we have this as well. Uh, maybe this, so maybe you gain a new typing but it incurs a penalty slash drop in stats. What is the meaning of malice? So uh, a financial penalty incurred by a trader, investor, or banker when an investment or deal results in a loss. So it could just be a kind of like a trade-off thing. So, you know, you, you could get like a new typing, but yeah, it does like lower stats or something like that potentially. Um, but anyway, that's the first thing that they posted. Uh, we also have Soul Silver kind of talking about this one as well, um, saying, okay, so we just need to figure out what it cause a malice means. Basically, it causes blank in exchange for a new type slash color. And then always take it with a grain of salt, but this is the definition of malice that makes the most sense here. So uh, some type of penalty or payment will occur to change types. The penalty could be anything though. Uh, it could be a PP uh, kind of uh, loss, like, I don't know, um, like pressure, uh, stat loss, even item loss. Uh, and then we have this here saying malice is said to be a forbidden fruit. One theory includes grapes. Some say it is a malmelo in the past. Uh, marmalos uh, were used to make marmalade. Grapes and marmalo were bought to Japan by the Portuguese. Since there is more than one forbidden fruit, it is likely the, the devil's fruit. And I wonder if it means anything. Got to take it with a grain of salt too. Um, and then again, this is also something else which is to do with apples. Malice is a uh, genus of about 30 to 55 species of small deciduous trees or shrubs in the family. Uh, ro I'm not sure I pronounced that. Including the domesticated orchard apple, also known as the eating apple, cooking apple, or culinary apple. The other species are commonly known as uh, crab apples, crab apples, crab trees, wild apples, or rainberries. So again, that could be what this first post is referring to, but again, could easily just be fake. We don't know. This is the next thing that they posted saying real leak hashtag two, except I don't know if that is supposed to say expect or accept non-breedable counterparts with 680 plus BST. Um, so we have a Komowo here and then we have Dracozole. So of course the, the thing about the fossils in Gen 8 was that they were kind of, uh, it was a really, really cool idea actually because obviously back when fossils were being like discovered and stuff, they would put them together and create things that obviously it wasn't of. Um, until they got like the actual fossils and stuff. So yeah, they mix and match things, which is obviously the story behind the Gen 8 fossils, which is really, really cool. Electric slash dragon and fighting slash dragon legendaries. Could you tell if there's a new evolution? He's basing his presumption on the Uncle Leak. So again, that Uncle Leak that we're talking about there is that Google Doc, um, which again, I think Eclipse is piggybacking off quite a bit from the likes of this, because obviously that was posted and then all of these tweets start coming out by Eclipse. So I don't know. I, I think if he tweeted all this out before that big uncle kind of post, then 
obviously it'd be a lot more believable. But again, we don't even know if the Uncle one is even legit or anything. Um, so that's that. The third one that he posted was this, saying, Real Leak, hashtag 3. There are more than Pori Leaks new Pokemon. So again, um, this is Porygon, obviously. Uh, and they're basically saying here, there's more Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet than Porygon's Pokedex number, which is, what, 137, I think. If there are 137, I'm so happy. If it's more, then I'm even happier. Same. Spoiling us now. I was asleep again. Um, Pori Leaks is following 145 users, so more than 105. Um, so yeah, a lot of people are thinking that, but again, it's kind of just jumping on what was posted in that Google Doc saying that there was going to be a lot more Pokemon uh, compared to like like just kind of like we got in Gen 1, Gen 3, Gen 5. Um, so again, it could just be piggybacking off that as well, which I, I personally think it is. And the finishing things off, we're going to be going over this thread by Soul Silver Art saying it's all adding up. With this in mind and the ultraviolet and infrared being on opposite sides of the color spectrum and rainbows, what could these two new box legendaries look like? I feel like Scarlet's will be rough slash tough one and Violet's will be sleek slash bright. So again, this is kind of just posted by Blaze Incineroar um, with this kind of triangle thing here with the grapes and then the circle, which again could also be a wheel. People thinking it's related to like the chariot and stuff like that. And then this is the solar system and everything. It would be interesting to take into consideration that the orange in the shield of the trailer is shaped after the wheel of a chariot. Moreover, if we stretch the interpretation, we may think that the top part of the grapes are based on the autogyra, which was invented in Spain. So again, these could be massive reaches, or it could technically be true, you never know. Scarlet gives me serious Arabian vibes. I strongly believe that there will be heavy inspiration on the Pokemon story and design from the time of the Moors in Iberia. Big part of their history, uh, juxtaposing Violet, which has very modern slash outer space vibes. Again, hinting, uh, hitting old versus modern uh, theory. Next up, and this is, I think, kind of like the thread that they're kind of talking about here with, um, yeah, this is just like a really long thread. I was going to cover this in a video, but it's so long <laughs> it honestly be like a 20 odd minute video so i like i say if you want to go check this thread out i definitely will eduardo did a massive uh, job here but as you can see it's just such a long thread it would take so long to go through it um and I, again i don't think people want to watch me talk for half an hour because it would literally be such a long video but it's a really good well put together thread uh, and then also we have this as uh, well, oh, I'm probably so wrong and it's completely the other way around, as in Scarlet's is shockingly wise and powerful like energy giving oranges and Violet is filled with a wild technological fighting spirit from the future. I'm really excited for these games if you can't tell. And then we have this here which is also quite interesting by Clara saying, I got kind of... I, I got kind of get interesting information about wave and frequency and thinking how Game Freak makes Scarlet and Violet. Titan is the code name of the game, so Scarlet and Violet will have astronomy... Astro astronomy references for their story let's see so palkia dialga will have some interesting lore uh and then thanks to this man go follow him yeah bro this guy's completely out of uh like completely no relation to this video but yeah this guy's a um someone on tiktok and he does like make these massive crazy space videos honestly like in, so it just blows my mind man and then yeah, ever since seeing the solar system thing i couldn't help but draw the similarity between that and the opening of pokemon at legends arceus I definitely feel like there's going to be a common uh, a connection between the scenes of both games. So yeah, this is obviously taken from the reveal trailer and it literally looks like a solar system, which is why a lot of people think that there's going to be hints of like space or space themes or something like that in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Because yeah, th this is, I mean, I'd, I'd say this is a solar system. Like you've got your star in the middle here and then you've got like all the orbits, uh, orbiting planets and everything like that. So yeah, may maybe the worlds are different in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Who knows? Like maybe it's not two teams. Maybe it's literally like... Um, two different worlds, you know, in Pokemon Scarlet, you're in this kind of solar system, uh, which is why uh, you're, you're dressed that way. And then in Pokemon Violet, you're in a completely different solar system on another planet. And then that's why certain things like that, you know, maybe they're not this, like, maybe they're completely in different worlds. I, I don't know. I, I think that'd be a pretty cool thing to, to think about. But yeah, that's just some more kind of lore, backstory stuff, um, again, for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And again, this just kind of goes over. But like, if I just go to like a run, random post here, it just has like so much random information about so many different things. But anyway, that is going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, take everything we covered today with a massive grain of salt. Um, Eclipse has been right about things in the past. He's also been very wrong about things in the past. Um, so it is generally up to you if you decide to kind of um, believe him or not. But either way, it's going to be everything from me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down, be down below. Leave a comment. What are your thoughts on everything we covered today? Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. Um, keep you up to date with all of the news for the Generation 9 games. That's everything from me, though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, guys, have a good one and peace.